Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you today's video another uh, interesting locality in the greater Jerusalem area. I'm uh, here outside of uh, the Katlav uh, winery which is one of the original boutique wineries here in Israel. They've been uh, making wine and are producing wine, higher end wine slightly since 1998, so about 25 years in the uh, wine business. And their tasting room that I'm standing outside is located in the beautiful scenery uh, just outside of Nes Harim. And this is something I'm always uh, saying, the areas around Jerusalem, whether you go west out to the Jerusalem hills or these areas in the south are just absolutely magnificent, so beautiful. You get outside of Jerusalem, which is crowded city of a million people, space is very tight, lots and lots of traffic and you just come to these uh, areas that are just fantastic therapeutic so if you're visiting Jerusalem and you have a car definitely recommend checking out a couple of the wineries uh, in this area so uh, this particular winery the Katlav winery they have a wonderful tasting room and the tasting experience operates from Sunday to Thursday roughly during uh, normal Israeli business hours 10 to 6 and then on Friday at reduced hours of uh, 10 to 1. Uh, the cost uh, when I came here today was at 90 shekels and that gets you four uh, different wines. They make all pretty high-end wines there aged in the bottles for a minimum of 24 months some of them for longer. Uh, their wines on the retail market started at about 129 shekels for their popular Nes Harim blend and they go upwards uh, from that. So the tasting experience it's a lovely uh, sort of a uh, wooden tasting room. Uh, you don't get the usual wine lecture about how the wine is made, which I think if you've been on a few wine tastings in Israel, it's uh, it's fine to skip over that. Instead, you get to just focus on enjoying the wine, enjoying the cheese uh, that they have there as well, um, and uh, savoring, of course, these wonderful views. And there's a wood-fired uh, furnace uh, operating the background as well. So especially if you visit in wintertime, uh, you get that kind of nice, charred, slightly smoky uh, air that complements the smoky cheese and complements the wine and it's all part of the experience. Uh, this winery as I mentioned located just outside of Nes Harim uh, and as I mentioned founded in 1998. This is a community outside of Jerusalem that was founded by uh, Jewish immigrants actually from uh, Kurdistan and Morocco. The family operating this winery, uh, the winer is a guy called Yossi Yiftach. Now something interesting that they mentioned was that his uh, parents growing up in uh, Morocco, of course, being a Muslim country where uh, alcohol is uh, is prohibited, used to make wine for their Shabbat meals from raisins and actually always dreamed of the day when uh, he could uh, come to Israel, move to Israel and uh, begin uh, their winemaking a journey and do it openly and they've certainly achieved that mission. Katlav Winery outside of Jerusalem, the tours are 90 shackles. They sell wine from their website mostly on the Israeli market. No distributors yet in the US but you can buy it from their website which I will put a link to uh, in the description. Personally I can't get enough of tasting experiences, wine tasting experiences in uh, Israel uh, but if you have access to a car uh, this is certainly one that's worth uh, trekking out to not just for the view also for the wine. Hope this video was interesting. If you want to get more videos from me about uh, life in Jerusalem and Israel, uh, do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here today uh, in uh, Ramat Negev Winery. It's located in Kadesh Barnea, which is literally only about 250 meters from Israel's international border with Egypt. The uh, border fence, which is a huge imposing seven meter high uh, metallic fence is located just literally a stone's throw in that direction as is uh, Egypt. So this is not the typical place where you'd expect to find a winery and it's uh, notorious as the only, only boutique winery in Israel that produces wine 
in desert soil in uh, that specific type of soil and these conditions to do so it uses some really really advanced technology and it's wine which I have tasted is very very good it's one of the uh, better known uh, small wineries here in Israel so we're gonna go inside now take a tour and hopefully uh, learn a lot more um, about how they managed to pull off this incredible feat of winemaking here in the Israeli desert This is where they're uh, fermenting the wine and um, Alon here was saying that they're one of the larger of the smaller boutique wineries in Israel that make rosé, uh, white wines and red wines and they go in price up to about 450 shekels, it's about 120 dollars. Most of their wines are, are pretty reasonably priced, actually more like 60 shekels or 15 dollars. This is their Exodus wine, it's an excellent uh, rosé and these guys are going to be at the Jerusalem Wine Festival next week which if uh, you haven't been is amazing. This place is located about one hour from uh, Mitzpeh Ramon uh, by car, you drive through the desert, it's really amazing, they do tours here all the time so it's very uh, recommended to come here. back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video today from a uh, fantastic boutique winery in Israel. Hard to believe that only a few dec decades ago Israeli wine was not a major force in the wine drinking world, now very firmly established as a new-ish terroir. Where we are today is the Nana Winery, maybe uh, hard to tell from the scenery just behind me here, but I'm actually located in the heart of the Negev Desert which dominates the south of Israel and this winery is located just outside of Mitzpeh Ramon uh, which is one of the southern towns in Israel. The southernmost southernmost town in Israel is the city of Eilat uh, but there is another uh, town called Mitzpeh Ramon, a town of only a few thousand people actually started out as a, a camp for people building road workers constructing the road leading to southern Israel and today uh, Mitzpeh Ramon is best known for the Machtel Ramon, the, uh, cra the, the crater formed by a glacier movement that's in the area. But this particular winery, the Nana Winery, is located just off road 171. For those who've been really paying attention to what I've been uploading on this YouTube channel, uh, in the summer of last year I visited Kvish Eser Road 10, which is the Israel-Egypt border road, and the road leading down to that from Itzpeh Ramon, which is called, which is road 171, is probably in all my expeditions in Israel, the far reaches of the north of the country, the south, probably the most remote landscape I've seen. You don't see power plants, you don't see people. There are stretches of kilometers where you don't see not, you don't see anything, leading all the way down to uh, the intersection with Kvis Eser, which is the Israel-Egypt border road. Uh, now, this uh, this uh, huge landscape here for producing wine is a lot more expansive than, uh, than, I mean, it literally stretches for kilometers that way. The people working on the wines are getting around in these kind of uh, mopeds, but they uh, actually grow all the wine they produce here for their mixture of red wines, white wines, and rosé. They don't use artificial yeast. All the yeast uh, that is, of course, an integral part of the winemaking process is what's uh, just literally coming on the grapes from the air, so therefore their wines change uh, change taste a little bit depending on the year they were bottled. Now speaking about bottling, uh, unfortunately they're not yet bottling on site here just outside of Mitzpeh Ramon. Currently the grapes they harvest they're uh, shipping them all up to the north of Israel then doing the bottling there but this wine can be found throughout Israel and uh, this winery, the Nana winery, uh, which is named after the childhood nickname 
of uh, the uh, pioneer winemaker here is uh, well known, it's rosé, is very well known, I'm personally a bit of a, a rosé fan myself uh, so it might be a bias but certainly they make some very good rosé as well as the other uh, the other types of, uh, of wine. The water supply here is coming uh, from Mitzpe Ramon and as I've said they've been in the winemaking business since 2007 and they're now selling both throughout Israel and uh, directly to consumers also on their website. The cost of the wine tasting, like the wine tasting I did at Catlab a few days ago, is 90 shekels that approximates to about 20 uh, US dollars at the time I'm recording this video and that'll get you uh, three types of wine. You can of course try a red wine or a white wine and a rosé or you can uh, focus on uh, the, the type of wine that you're most into so you can have three different types of red wine if that suits your fancy more. They do have uh, cheese uh, plates for sale as any self-respecting uh, wine tasting tour does and uh, if you just located about a 10 minutes drive outside of Mitzpe Ramon so if you are visiting the crater or just visiting Mitzpe Ramon which is definitely worth a visit in its own right definitely worth that uh, making the visit out here to check out the winery at Nana. Thanks for watching today's video uh, from the Nana Winery in the south of Israel. If you do want to get more videos from me about interesting sites and places and hopefully forthcoming also people in Jerusalem and in Israel, then do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the video.